stirring introductions from Tuka Postinainen. Already read your case, please. Please, please. Stop. The last time I heard a partisan sort of crowd to rival this was when Thomas Adamak, Adamek fought Vladimir Klitschko in Vroslav just a matter of months ago. But and on that occasion, Klitschko diffused the nationalistic fervour with a terrific performance. Vitaly Klitschko beating Thomas Adamek. Now Derek Chisora gets his chance against Robert Hellenius. Will he be able to deliver or will Hellenius be able to use his physical attributes in the same way that Vitaly Klitschko did? Well, Chisora making a good start. This is exactly what he needs to do. He's got to get close and stay close. You know, if he allows Hellenius to use the jab and keep him off, it's going to be a hard night's work. But he's so pumped up. It's a good start from Chisora. He needs to just keep this up. It's all about pressure, pressure, constant pressure. He looked really hyped, I thought, as he made his way to the ring. And he started fast, started confidently, trying to put the pressure on Hellenius from the word go, trying to put him into reverse gear, where a slightly static sort of fighter such as Hellenius, not happy, likes to dictate centre ring behind that long left-hand lead. It's a good start from Chisora, really good. Well, showing no fear, but took a right hand there. And then it's just chopped down with the right hand. This crowd going absolutely bonkers. Body shot again from Chisora. The question is, does he have the punch power to really trouble Hellenius? He'll certainly think so. But well, what Chisora is doing is applying that really good pressure, digging into the body. He's got to keep rolling that head, he's got to keep moving that head, he's got to be prepared to do, you know, things that he's never done before, and that's just to totally work for three minutes of every round. Has he got the fitness to do so? Started well, remember, against Tyson Fury. How Fury going in the early stages, but lack of conditioning letting him down. He could have probably done with Fury to, put, to put, get ready for this fight, in terms of, like, height. You know, this guy's 6'9", Fury's not too dissimilar height. Not sure that uh, not sure that Tyson would like the idea too much of being Derek Chisora's sparring partner, but there you go. Oh, they got a lot in common, these guys. But I mean, listen, if Chisora starts bringing that right hand into play, because I'm sure Hellenius wouldn't have even be expecting that right now. He's expecting body shots. There's the right hand. That's the one he's, he's looking for. Just needs to chop, keep chopping it over, bring the right hand over the top, and bring the uppercuts up the middle. Can't afford to get too gung-ho, though, in these early stages. It's got to be pressure, but it's got to be educated pressure, because Hellenius can also bang. But Hellenius won't be able to fight on the inside. He's much too tall. He needs to keep it long. You know, if he's going to pitch his oar up, it'll be obviously be with the jab, and if he's going to catch him, it'll be of a straight right hand as opposed to an uppercut. Hellenius, only 27 years old, same age as Chisora, looks older. Right hand from the Hellenius in the closing stages and a wink from Chisora at the end of the round. As much as to say, is that all you've got? I'm going to give that to Chisora. I'll give that first round to Chisora. Started off fantastically well. Uli Wegner with Robert Hellenius. He certainly knows already at this early stage that he's in a fight. Yeah, I mean, this is a good attack from Chisora. You know, I mean, when you're away from home, it's easy to get stage fright. You know, he's going to be really hostile territory, 12,700 people. But what you see with Chisora, he's not even listening to the crowd. He's paying no attention to that whatsoever, prepared to get in and mix it up. Uh, chatting to him a couple of weeks ago and Derek Chisora said don't worry about the crowd that's not going to worry me that's not going to phase me great opportunity this for Chisora and he started really as though he has his eyes on the prize certainly has needs to keep his defense watertight The chance for Robert Hellenius. But again, onto the front foot. It's Chisora trying to stay mobile, trying to keep the pressure on. Quick! Quick! 
The Italian referee splits them. Just a little warning, a quiet one to Chisora about getting the head in there. Got to get the right hand working. He's got to get his right hand over the top. It's a good attack. It's good body shots from Chisora. Needs more of the same. But when he stands out of range from Hellenius, he needs to keep his head moving. Hellenius just getting into a little bit more of a rhythm with the jab than he was allowed to do in the first round. That's because Chisora is giving him too much space. Oh, good right hand from Hellenius. Chisora wanted to hold on a little bit. It was a pretty simple ploy. Left hand lead, right hand cross. But Chisora had to suck it up. Chisora's going to be, you know, have like a bus saw type attack. He's got to keep his head rolling. Keep throwing punches, bringing them round, up and over. Chisora looks really pumped for this. He started fast. Hard to think that he'll be able to maintain this sort of pace for 12 rounds. If it goes as far as that, that's a big uppercut from Hellenius. But Chisora takes it well. Just got to take away that jab from Hellenius. Those body shots are one way to get the, uh, the fin to be a little bit more disorganised and to upset his rhythm. Well, you know, the, the referee's upsetting Chisora's rhythm. You know, he's, he's breaking his attack every time he has one. Well, he certainly did there, and there was no need for it. This is better boxing from Hellenius now, but Chisora's got to, he's got to meet him again. He's got to come back to work. Better from Hellenius, that uppercut, the right hand is a heavy shot. Left hook as well. Chisora, though, bobbing and weaving his way in. Hooks to the body, and now the warning again from the referee. For the head, probably. Yes, for the head. Chisora did stick the, stick the head right in between of the guard in his attempt, the, the aggression that he was showing. Uh, not intentional, I'm sure, but he just wants to get to this guy. The sound of the ten bells earlier on this evening for Joe Frazier before you joined us. And uh, there's a little bit of that. That's about Chisora, the way he's trying to work in and land real power hooks every time he gets into range. Interesting round. How did you score that one, Duke? I've given that one to Hellenius. You're standing to square, okay? Uh, yeah, you're standing to square. When you take your shot, move your feet. You're standing in front of you to be picked up. Standing too square when you get in the front, move your feet. Well, that, that's, that's precisely what he did. He put the head right between Hellenius' guard. And he was just... But actually, that's where you get the most of your power from. Here's where Hellenius was having some good moments. His uppercut's a dangerous shot. As the hooks I was telling you about from Chisora. That was probably his best attack. It was a nice attack from Chisora. But there's the head right through the guard, you're standing square on. You hit harder when you stand square on, but you leave yourself wide open. Good fight. You've got it around the piece, Duke. Into the third. First round, Chisora. Second round, Hellenius. You saw Chisora in the first round had almost like a cross arm. Uh, defense just like the late Joe Fraser. Perhaps he's been watching videos and taking a leaf out of his book. Stands a little bit taller than Smoking Joe did, who was about six foot in his fighting days. Derek Chisora, six one and a half against the six foot six and a half Robert Hellenius, a man of Klitschko proportions, if not quite Klitschko, Klitschko ability. The right hand though, chopping right. Chisora had to ride it. Well, Chisora's just trying to make him miss at the moment. Just standing off, just trying to make him miss. And he's not doing too bad a job, but he's now he's got to get to work. Not forgetting he's away from home. He's going to have to win. Well, he must know, and his corner surely will know. If he's going to win, he's going to have to win big here. But that little step that Chisora's taking to the right is actually taking Lennis out of his stride because he's not getting the jab off. But every time Chisora steps to his right, he should then in turn go in behind a double jab. Oh, 
not a lot between them at this stage. Here's the home advantage of Hellenius going to be decisive. Right hand partially blocked from Chisor. Again, the referee's on his case. Referee being really busy for my life and John. You know, all these little infringements when you touch the, the other box, when you pull him away, it takes him out of his stride. But Chisora needs to keep stepping to his right, you know, keep moving to his right. He takes away the jab, then he tries his double jab and the right hand. Just keep creating that little angle. It's a good round for Chisora thus far. He's making Hellenius miss. And hitting him with good shots. Now needs a, a rousing finish to the round, you suspect. Chisora to catch the judge's eye. Needs to keep the pressure on Hellenius in the 40 seconds or so remaining in this third. Well, Hellenius looking a lot more tentative. Nice, cute right hand, though, from Hellenius. Chisora, a bit of showboating, saying, yeah, you hit me, but it didn't hurt. Sure, his corner would like to see him maintain concentration and just continue what he's been doing pretty effectively so far. Yeah, Tight round, this one, Duke. Has to cut out the showboating because, you know, the judges won't like it. But I think it's a good round for Chisora. Chisora finishing as the aggressor hooks the pattern, continues, and it's a pay your money and take your choice sort of round. Is it the shots from range of Hellenius, principally the jab, or the more insistent hooks of Chisora? You still need to move your feet now. Then you need to understand that how to need a locker. Does that need to bring a home You can have a little bit of a locker. So, how did you score the third? I'll give you two Chisora. Tight one though, not much between them. Very, very tight. Those are the rounds, sort of rounds, which can have a really important bearing on a contest such as this. But really it's whether or not you're impressed by that, the shots at range, or the hooks which Chisora was able to land. For the most part, Chisora was, it, was the aggressor, and for my money, landed the better quality punches. Round four. So into the fourth round. Hellenius looks as though he's breathing heavily in that corner. He's feeling the pace. Normally likes to kind of chug along at his own rate. And Chisora's trying to take him out of the comfort zone and starting fast in this fourth. He's a good jazz by Chisora. He's actually taking the play away from the taller man by out jabbing him. But doesn't he look so much physically better than he did when he fought Tyson Fury? He, he looks like a different shape. guy. He was in terrible shape for that fight. There's no doubt about it. Whether he underestimated him, well, obviously, his weight told it, which he obviously did, and he paid the price. But this isn't the same guy. At least he's fighting with a lot more intensity. He realises now what's on the line, and it's about time. In the run-up to this, Chisora said, if I lose tonight, where do I go? So he knows, he knows the importance. That's a good right hand from Chisora. Starting hard and fast. Those body shots will be being felt unquestionably by Hellenius. Second time Chisora's been ticked off for the head. If he infringes again, he's got to be really careful. He doesn't want to have points deducted. No, but he's playing nice jabs. Rolling in really nicely there, push him off and get back to work. Shouldn't be holding him on. It's just as tiring for Chisora as it is Hellenius when they start to maul and hold each other. 12 rounder, of course, with the title on the line, the European title here. Chisora trying to atone for the monumental disappointment of losing what he believed was his destiny to beat Tyson Fury. Maybe that'll be a rematch somewhere down the line, I wonder. Perhaps with more at stake, if Chisora can come through this. If he can win this, then there's no reason why those two couldn't fight again. It's a much better fight second time around. Good shot from Chisora, body shot and that right hand over the top. Well, Hellenius saw it coming, but only just. Chisora really looked committed tonight. Well, I'll tell you, he's throwing lovely jabs to the chest of Hellenius to try and bring his guard down. He's swinging the right hand over. Obviously, with the taller target, he has to hit something at some point. Just missed the game. We've said in the studio and in the run-up to this fight from uh, Helsinki, we've said 
He's an enigma at the moment. Chisora's delivering, and it's Hellenius who is being put into an area and a zone where he doesn't want to be. Certainly fighting in close and taking up the guts like that. See, Chisora, he's curious with the referee, and rightly so, because the referee's being too busy. Every time, he, every time he has a little bit of success, the referee's intervention. Look again. And it wasn't even a headbutt in there. This is going to be, this is going to be a key factor in this fight. A few boos from the crowd. Good, good shot, shot. Chisora. Good right hand. Hellenius onto the back foot and was stunned by that one in the closing seconds. Good round for Chisora. Lovely round. Great right hand from Chisora. Hellenius was a big favourite for this one. Not his fight at the moment. He's fluent in four languages, Robert Hellenius. And also in the language of boxing, and he'll know that he was taking too much. Far too much, but all right. She's all right doing everything to get through. Lovely uppercuts on the inside. You can see Hellenius holding his left arm underneath the shoulder. So with the free hand. Chisora was bringing in nice uppercuts. He's doing a good job in roughing this guy up, taking him out of the well, out his comfort zone. He well, was the uppercuts, and the head came down, and then the heads came together. Now, is Chisora at fault there? That was when the referee stepped in. I didn't think he was, John. Into the fifth. You have Chisora 3 1 up, Duke. I've got Chisora. Two one up, John. Uh, four rounds. Four rounds completed. Check your card, mate. Sorry. One, two, three. One, there two, you go. Three. My mistake. I wear glasses. So do you. <laughs> the important thing, though, is that Chisora continues to pour on the pressure. Well, he needs to get himself into a lead, which I think he's done at least on my card. Because if the deficit starts to get clawed back, he's got a little bit of a cushion. The crowd, though, surely will try to rouse Hellenius. And the question's going to be if he keeps on taking shots like that, whether Chisora can keep up the work rate. But don't forget, the crowd are also going to cheer any success that Hellenius has. Chisora just taking a little breather in this fifth round. Hellenius unable to plod forward looking for him. I like when Chisora takes his step to the right. I like when he goes to the right and he comes up with a jab or a right hand. No, he shouldn't do this. He's away from home. The crowd won't like it, the judges won't like it, and the referee certainly won't like it. He needs to get out of that corner now. Which he does. You know, he can't afford to show, but he can't afford to go back and give these rounds away or do anything stupid. Well, you could always say, yeah, by all means, showboat, but showboat when the fight's won, which it certainly is not as yet. Hellenius is coming on stronger in this fifth round. He's got to keep working. See, just, you know, once Hellenius holds his hand... See, the re oh, a no, the referee's warning him, is that's not right, John. He didn't do nothing there. Heads coming in close once more. The height difference makes it inevitable that when he does get inside like that, Chisora's head is close to Hellenius. And there's a head plus once more. I mean, Hellenius looks decidedly uncomfortable to me, John. Chisora's fought well in the last minute of this round. Hellenius yeah. started it well, but Chisora's come right back. He's come right back. Needs to keep punching up to the bell. He's keep the pressure on. John, this is a big round for Chisora. He's putting a lot of work into this round. Took his foot off the gas in the early stages, but he's nice really finished that. hard. Good shot as well from Hellenius. Terrific left hand. And Chisora felt the full weight of that. It's a good fight, John. It's a very exciting fight. That left hand from Hellenius in the closing seconds of the fifth round. Chisora felt that one. Big time. That's 
that's Robert Hellenius' closest fans. Let's increase that pace and you'll stop this guy. But as you're doing, just keep doing what you're doing. We'll take him later on, yeah? Keep picking up, keep working that body. When you get in there, drive it through him. Do you understand? Break him down, break him down, then we're going to go to town, yeah? Did he do enough when he came back? No, I'll get that man to Hellenius. I'm just... So you've got it 3 2 to Chisora now. Yeah, what is seconds turning out to be a terrific fight. It's a good fight, John. It's made up for the disappointment we had earlier. If you're just joining us, Alexander Povetkin, already a winner tonight against Cedric Boswell. Now Derek Chisora looking to win this European title. But it's close. Which is all it has to be picked on, doesn't he? That's the head close again. And he's, well, the referee, I don't know. I, I, I see this referee, I think he likes to be on camera, John. I think he likes to be on television. I think he wants to be involved and get his facing, but he forgets he's not doing the fighting. and should let the boxers continue what they're doing. There aren't too many infringements, and it's, you know, six of one half a dozen of the other. Hillen is, is as guilty as Chisora, as of any infringement you may have seen. Chisora has been told to keep on working away to the body. So up. It's good because he's roughing him up and he's beating him up on the inside, John. I saw a few predictions saying that Hellenius was likely to start to bust Chisora up around about this stage of the fight. Well, Del Boy has very, very different ideas. Well, quite obvious, Del Boy hasn't read the script. It's to keep bringing those uppercuts into play when he's on the inside. Oh, lovely shot by Chisora. There's the right hand. Right round the houses. Hellenius took it well, though. Had to. His chin tested. And the crowd noise in Helsinki is starting to be lessened now. Another good right hand from Chisora. He's getting a little bit closer, John. I just hope he can keep this up. If he can sustain this work rate, this would be a tremendous victory on foreign soil. Oh, not much. That, that's an understatement, John. Again, right in the face of Hellenius. They've worked on their tactics. They've thought about how this big man can be beaten. And the, the moment, Chisora is following the lines of the script and following them well. All right, these little uppercuts that Chisora throws on the inside. You know, this guy's fighting like a man on a mission, but once he gets inside, he pops an uppercut, and then he brings the right hand over wrestles a little bit he's done his homework let's just hope he's fit enough to execute his game plan battle from Hellenius power shots Chisora's chin tested and again but takes them well oh lovely switch from body to head it's a grueling round John both boxers standing their ground now and it trading is, off this is turning out and shaping up to be a real war duke I tell you what if Chisora can pull this off It'll be a very memorable win. Good left hand again from Hellenius. Last few seconds of a dramatic sixth round. Coming up nicely, Chisora. Hellenius has had his share of success in this round as well, and he's finishing it as the aggressor. Solid right hand on the bell. Well, what a round. Fantastic. Who did you give that one to, Duke? Chisora. I thought Chisora and Andy took a really good shot. He had some nice sustained attacks. I thought Helena's just left it too little too late in that round to claw it back in his favour. It was a good round. I mean, this, that was Helenius' yeah. pressure later yeah, on in the round. That yeah. was his best yeah. little spell. That was his spell, wasn't it, John? Where he actually came back yeah. at Chisora, but Take for the, the most part, Chisora was again. on top. Come in, you go again, right? You hear me? And your card, strictly oh, an official, of course. Seconds Four out. to two seven, in favour of Derek Chisora. Chisora. 4 2. Helenius. You've given him the second and the fifth with the rest to Chisora. Got to keep digging that jab to the chest, Chisora. Keep working the uppercuts into the play, keep rolling that head. Keep stepping off to the right because it's that little move which 
offsets Helenius. On the other side of the ring, the promoters, the Sourlands, have got it 5-1 to one to Robert Helenius. Work that one out. Oh, They're the guys who are running the show. Well, there you go. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Chisora just being tagged a bit more often now, though, by these headshots from Helenius. Well, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a good, uh, good start from Helenius in this round. Chisora just... OK, maybe, maybe we're just taking a bit of a breather. But shouldn't go back on the ropes. You can't give this guy any kind of confidence. Keep stepping to your right and use that jab. Oh, nice hook. Nice try. Just trying to be a bit more fleet-footed now, Chisora. There you go. Chisora choosing to go walk about in this round. And Hellenius hasn't landed anything too authoritative thus far. Well, Chisora doing a good job of boxing at the, at the moment. I'm not quite just sure how anybody can have Hellenius winning this at this stage by five rounds to one, but there you go. Oh, you might see test Chisora with that though. That was a good left hook. Chisora takes it well though. It landed flush. He did take it well, John. Just as he was just starting to find a little bit of rhythm in his boxing skills, Chisora just got taken out of his stride. Was trying to just throw punches, single punches, to see if he could outbox this guy. But obviously that tactic hasn't worked. He's got to revert back to type. Had to absorb a straight right as you were speaking there as well. Another good shot from Hellenius. And every time Hellenius throws, of course, the instant response from the 12,000 plus watching. Chance going up for the home fighter. Chisora has got to maintain the work rate. Not throwing as many punches here in the seventh round. Well, no, he tried a different tactic and it hasn't worked. So he's got to do what he did in the previous round. He's got to back this guy up and bring the hooks and the uppercuts back into play. Hellenius, big and strong. Looks older than his 27 years, doesn't he? He certainly does. But Chisora's given this round away, I feel. Trying to finish it fast, Chisora. But absorbing them as he gets into range. And another solid right hand. Then a nice uppercut from Chisora. Tremendous exchange in the last few seconds. But Hellenius dominated the bulk of the round. Certainly did. Chisora gave the round away. He's tiring, mate. I'm telling you. You... Yeah, he Last is tiring, but so is Chisora. Okay. He's got so much work in, and you know, sometimes when you're taking punches back in return, that in itself is tiring. If you paid your money for Box Nation, and you're wondering if it was money well invested, well, tell your mates, because this is one of the best heavyweight title fights, for my money, that we've seen for some fair time. Some time. Okay, bring it back, yeah? Just what you did there, when you get inside, two and three, then come out again, all right? Really good well, scrap. Guy out the game and is now. well, but what a rally by Chisora in the last few seconds. Eight. Well, Chisora needs to drag him back into the trenches immediately in this round. Jump straight back on him. Try and pick, off where he'd pick up where he left off. You gave that round Hellenius, yeah? I did. So that's four to three on Duke's card now for Derek Chisora as we move into the eighth. He's got to roll that head, keep stepping to the right. Because that's what takes the jab away from Hellenius. If he stands in front of him, he'll get speared with straight shots. There's that busy referee again. How many times is he going to warn him without doing something about it? That's the worry. Yes. Point taken, John. Point taken being the phrase. Nice body shots from Chisora, needs more of the same. He's got to get back to work, he can't stand off. But, you know, I'm sure these, these body punches, they're, they're strength sapping. They do, they take the sting out of the punches. But Lenis is showing good character because he's trying to come back. Lenis trying to stand his ground, trying to throw the heavy headshots himself. Right hand, he's starting to get through 
with more regularity, worrying from a Chisora point of view. But he doesn't want to be denied his Chisora. Prepared to try and walk through all of these punches that Elenis is throwing. Trying to outwork him. Well, by some distance, I would venture to suggest this is the hardest fight. Even given the fact that he was beaten by Tyson Fury, the hardest fight of Derek Chisora's career. It's a harder fight, John, because he's in better shape. He's fighting at a much higher work rate. Derek Chisora's 17th professional fight. Still chasing what he believes and hopes is going to be his destiny of a fight against one of the Klitschko's next year. He's got to come through this first, though. It's a good attack from Chisora again. Then he's looking a little bit more tired, a little bit more disorientated almost. More pressure, more pressure from Derek Chisora. Roll that head. Well, they believe that Hellenius is tiring and will start to unravel. I can't see it myself, not at this stage. But he could do, John, because, you know, he's actually punching down on the target, which isn't easy in itself, and Chisora's outworking him, John. Terrific work rate from Chisora in this round. He's thrown a lot of punches, and a fair few of them have been on target and have scored. That's good from Hellenius, though. Instant response from the crowd. I think it's a good round for Chisora. Don't use your elbow now. We've had the head, we've had the holding, now it's the elbow. The word from the referee. Good round again. Tough man's fight. Keep doing what you're doing, son. Keep picking that way. Right, you're standing to your left. Put your legs out, please. Put your legs out. Put your legs out, let's sit back. Put keep, your legs out. Keep now. your head still, man. Come on. Are you all right? Yeah, it's not. Big effort from Chisora in that round. Was it enough to win it? No, I've given the round lead, and it was given to take all the way through. I thought in that round, well, in my opinion, what Chisora needs now from, from his corner, from Dean Powell and his trainer, is a pep talk. They need to pump him up. Tactics out the window now. It's just about pumping him up. Four rounds left, you. You've got Chisora one point ahead. Now, what are the sort of words that you'd want to hear Chisora being given? Well, just to keep doing pretty much the same. You know, trying to still tell you this thing with Teddy. said, Teddy said to his charge that this guy wants to go home. He's starting to get tired. He's starting to walk. He's looking more disorientated. Keep your head moving. Keep pumping. You can win this. Well, a fair few people thought this fight might be over by now in the favour of the Finnish favourite Robert Hellenius. Derek Chisora, though, still wanting to fight as though he's a man on a mission. Well, he is a man on a mission, John. You know, it's, it's the best performance of, for my money from Chisora throughout the whole of his career thus far. Let's hope he can just maintain it and get a decision. Well, it's who has... The strength, the belief now to get across the finishing line and to keep the work going. Chisora has to do that. Can't afford to let Hellenius start to dictate and start to fight from range. Oh, get off the ropes. He's going to blow it if he goes on the rope. Take it to him. Stop showboat and just take it to him. You know, when a fight's this close, you can't afford to showboat. Nobody's going to do Shizora any favours. Duke got... getting into corner man mode yeah, there. You but... wanted him to get off and to box and to fight. John, he, he needs to take the ball by the horns. He can't, by the horns. He can't stand off. Nobody's going to do this guy any favours. The judges certainly, the referees not. You know, so he can't afford to be careless. Cop short, oh, lovely shot. Cop short of himself. Good one hand from Chisora. But again, Hellenius absorbing it and not looking as though he's in any real problem. Referee looking down at the binding on the glove, but I think there's no problem there at the moment. Chisora being urged forward by Don Charles and by Dean Powell. You might have heard the shouts above the cacophony here of, come on, keep going. That's a good jab to the stomach from uh, Chisora. More of them, they switch it up top. He needs to get his hands back up, cupped around his head. Nice Just try again, over the yeah. top from Chisora. It's good speed from Chisora. He's using good speed. Hands are nice and quick. He needs to get his hands up. Hellenius being forced to just cover up. 
and absorbs a fair number of these power shots that Chisora is trying to unload. I think Lenis is, is tired, John. I think he's desperately tired. But Chisora needs to win the rounds and to win them big to impress the judges. Well, a big attack right now would nick this round, I'm sure. And if the judges are seeing it the same way that we're told that uh, those close to the promoter are seeing it at ringside, well, it could be that Hellenius is ahead. We've not got it that way, but you never know. Well, apart from a bit of stupid showboating, that wasn't a bad round. Fantastic. I don't think he won it. You don't? No. So who have you given it to? Hellenius. Hellenius rather than a draw? Yes. Right, well, in that case, if that's the case, then you've got it squared up now. Four rounds apiece and one level. Body language of Uli Begner suggests that they are worried, though. I thought Chisora had a decent round there in that night. Four rounds each you've got to. Yes. One level. Yes. Three rounds remaining. So, I would say that Chisora is out. I don't, I'm not, I'm not I mean, the one that he's going to throw away ten. because he's boxed a very good fight, but he doesn't need this. Well, I wouldn't go against the argument that Chisora won that last round. It's that sort of fight. A lot of these rounds close. Good start from Chisora. Yeah, that's a nice jab, uh, hook off the jab. Jab off the hook, even. It's not a low blow. Oh. Well, yeah, but you know, John, you look at this referee, you just know, the re you just think every time the referee makes an infringement, you think he's going to take a point away from Chisora at any moment. It's not happened yet. Fingers crossed it won't happen in the remaining minutes of this fight, which increasingly is looking as though it's going to go the distance. I'm glad Chisora has got himself in tip-top shape. I really am. Because he would have been so disappointed in kicking himself in the morning had he had blown up. Now, here's an interesting statistic for you. Robert Hellenius has never been past nine rounds. We're now in the tenth. Well, that bodes well for, for, uh, for Chisora because he can take him into deep water and if he can do that and really put it on him, he could probably break his spirit. Let's see if he can do precisely that. Not too much between them thus far in this tent. Well, Helene is holding on off the left side, off the blind side of the referee, but who does the referee want? Chisora. This guy's doing him absolutely no favours whatsoever. use the word Homer. See, Hellenius now, again, looks arm-weary, but disorientated. And it's Chisora, you know, the aggressor, just trying the right hand again, just missed with it. But he's got to maintain the work rate. Hellenius is able to spear him from range. Well, but Chisora's out jabbing him, John. It's a big, deep breath there from Hellenius. Again, just looking, looking a little bit sorry for himself, I think. Look, look at his body language. Deep breath, deep sucking up breath. Well, oh, yeah. No work from him, John. I mentioned earlier on the way in which Vitaly Klitschko diffused a passionate atmosphere in Vroslav when he defeated Thomas Adamek in that football stadium. If Chisora can pull this one off, the similar deflation of national spirit would be evident. The thing is going back voluntarily now. Chisora's put it on him, you know, in terms of pressure. He's absolutely stuck it on him from the first round, and he can't cope at the moment. Well, this is the point at which Chisora really needs to stand on him and throw leather and to dominate. It's a Chisora round with 10 seconds to go. Hellenius, though. Some scoring shots in those last few seconds as well. He looks dog tired as he makes his way back to the corner. 
Who have you given that one to, Jim? Keine Ahnung. Moment, lass ihn Sieg nicht nehmen. You have Chisora around the head, my friend, with two rounds to go. That was an excellent round for him. You know, he had, he then he's backed up throughout the whole of the fight. He's not had some good punches. You're both tired, but he's more tired than you. I can say it. We can say it. You hear me? Do you want this or what? Derek. Yeah. Look at me. Do you want this? Look yeah. at him and listen right. to him. Do you want this? Yeah. Look at me, baby. Right. Let's go for it. Wipe his eyes. Wipe his eyes. Right. Have a little drink. Yeah. You're right. dog Let's tired. But he's two more two tired than you. Double stay out. Get out. You know your opponent's tired. It brings you back to life. You can be just equally as tired. But when you know your opponent's arm, arms are starting to flag and he's starting to look dishevelled. It brings you back to life marginally. Chisora, not one of those fighters who responds to being bellowed, bellowed at or, or hit in the corner. It's quiet words of encouragement, and that's about as animated as Don Charles gets. Do you want it? Get out there and win it. You know, Mickey Duff would have been screaming, and, you know, Mickey Duff was, uh, was to just really, you know, give good advice, obviously, but he makes sure that you understand what he said, as did my trainer, Colin Smith. Chisora needs to get out there and produce work rate. Well, the last round was such a good round for him, I thought he won it by a country mile. Hellenius too will have been told, I'm sure, by his corner man, Uli Begner, who knows all about preparing world champions at the very highest level. He's got to get back to work, he's got to, he's got to look, he's got to look busy doing nothing really Chisora, you know, he's tired obviously so he's got to move the head, kid a little bit, you know, keep stepping to the right, throw lots of punches almost and just try and draw this guy in and hopefully he'll walk on to one where he can nick the round. The arms have got to be feeling like lead now after a fight fought at this sort of pace. And his chest, you know, his lungs are going to be burning, his eyes are going to feel like they're coming out of his, uh, his sockets and his, in his head. But he's got to go through the pain barrier and try and grind out a victory. Arm punches from Hellenius, but he's throwing perhaps more in this round so far. But now here comes Chisora. In range, this is where he wants to be, but decides, chooses to back off. Don't back off, he's got to stay there. He's got to stay there, he's got to meet fire with fire. Well, a penny for the thoughts of the judges. But, you know, Helene, she's been backed up now consistently for the, this round and the last round. And it's Chisora again. He shouldn't be backing up, he should be piling it on. It's Ch Chisora again who's the aggressor. Well, perhaps he's got that mental clock in his head. I'm thinking, right, coming up to the last 30 seconds, time to go again. He's got to stop backing off. He doesn't need to back off. He doesn't need to show both. He doesn't need to do anything stupid, which could cost him this round. He should be taking it too. Hellenius. That's better. Again. Body shots followed by the switch to the head. Has Chisora done enough to impress the judges? That's the million dollar question. Quite literally the million dollar question, I suspect. Oh, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Again, it's another close round. Close one. Did Chisora do enough? It's all going to go down to the wire. It's going to go to the 12th round. It's all, it's all in this round now. Yeah? They ain't so noisy now, are they, mate? Hey? Yeah? You've got them quiet. Okay, go. Do you know what round it is? Put your damn there. Come on, let me wind it down, mate. It's back. Have us on your nose. It's you. All down to the last round. You give that last round to Hellenius, did you? I did. Right, well, on your card, five rounds each, one level. It is all down to the last round. Well, you know, I mean, I thought with Chisora backing up in that round, which he didn't need to do, you know, he allowed this guy just to marginally just get it on a two shot on target. But I think Chisora can still win the fight. It has been a terrific fight. European title at stake. The home favourite, Robert Hellenius, against Derek Chisora, the two touch gloves, last three minutes could be special. Well, I tell you, if I'm in this fight and I'm saying to myself, you know, it's all in the last round, 
And you know what Chisora's thinking, he's got to put it all in the line. Chisora will Chisora want to fight good. at a pace and with an intensity of a man possessed. Well, he's doing that, John. You know, it's good. it was good advice from the corner that he told him. It's all in this round. Nothing silly, but just be get your hands going again. Work this guy, push him, hold him, push him back, physically push him back. Grind out a victory any way you can. Trying to get in close, trying to get into range to land B hooks. Hellenius, though, landing more punches in the first minute of this 12th round. What a fight, John. What a fight. Hellenius able to pick Chisora off at range. He's not rolling in as effectively as he did earlier on. Now, bearing in mind, John, we're not watching welterweights or bantamweights, but they're fighting at a welterweight pace. It's been a good, solid, hard pace all the way through. And it's been initiated by Chisora. One of the best heavyweight fights I've seen for some considerable time. Chisora looking for that one big punch now, which might make sure that he has oh, a oh, tremendous John. uppercut. Both but then back, off. back comes Chisora. Both trading off, John. Both landed really significant punches. But it's Chisora for me who's getting the better of the exchange. 90 seconds to go. Well, listen, he's put it all on the line tonight, John, and answered a lot of questions, I promise you. And another step forward by Chisora, and another right hand. A few people have asked, is Derek Chisora really a fighting man? Well, I think he's answered that question tonight. This fight's answered that question, absolutely. Is he a big enough puncher? Well, that's another question, because he's landed, and he's landed a lot flush, and Hellenius is still there. But he's just got to keep him backed up. Another nice jerking jab from... Chisora, keep this guy backed up, keep working your hands, you need to get this last round. Well, what a fight. Been sensational, John. If you've watched this one with us tonight, you have watched something special. The Finnish crowd believe that Hellenius has done enough. People on their feet cheering on the home favourite. Chisora still wailing away, trying to throw massive shots as we go into the last 30 seconds. Walks straight into a ramrod left-hand lead from Hellenius. Yeah, but he got his right hand off his... Oh, no, he got his right hand off his... Self. He's OK, though, he's not hurt, John. Just got his head jerked back. They're both tired. It's a big finish from Hellenius as well. But for my money, Chisora's winning this round. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. It's that sort of fight. Last 10 seconds. Is there one last big punch from either man? Last punch of the fight landed by Chisora. The two touch gloves. The words in the run up to the fight forgotten. Now who's got it? Hellenius holds his arm aloft. Chisora with his corner man. It's an anxious wait for both. I thought Chisora won the last round. I give him the fight by one round. That's quite an amazing performance from Chisora. You know, he had a lot of questions to answer tonight, I think. I think he's answered them, John. Has he got stamina? Yes. Does he have a good chin? Yes. Does he have heart, desire and commitment? I think he ticks every box tonight. Wherever Derek Chisora goes from here, forget about questioning him as a fighting man. Give him respect, because that was some performance. Totally. You know, I mean, listen. He knows that uh, he's, when he lost his last fight, he knew what he had to do. So he went back to the chain, went back to yeah. the, 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 the gym, readdressed everything, got his weight down. And if he can fight like this, then he's got a big future. Bartizora bowing to all corners. If he's got this verdict, well, rarely has a title been more deservedly won and worked for in such a manner. Hellenius, though, the home favourite. Sometimes you can tell by the body language of those in the ring. There aren't too many clues at the moment. Anxious wait as the cards are tallied. Well, there's a smile. Has he heard something, I wonder? Very close fight, very close fight indeed. I wish I was one of the judges tonight. A lot of the rounds were close, and in those sort of fights, you could get widely varying results from the three judges. I mean, obviously, you know, 
it depends on where you're sitting from ringside, how you actually see this fight. But, you know, I thought Chisora did a remarkable job in terms of trying to take away the jab. His work ethic was really good. His, his concentration was spot on. Kept the head rolling for the most part. One passing shot. I don't think that the referee did Chisora any favours. No he favors. made it a hard night for Johnny him. did him no favours whatsoever. Whatsoever. But, you know, that said, I still feel Chisora did enough to nick the rounds and to win them. That was the ticket out Here we go, here we go. After 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the scores. Domarene Piste Dovat Seuraava Laiset. Giuseppe Quartarone, 115 to 113. 115, 113. Helenius. Jankovia. 115 to 113, Chisora. Oliver Pavino, 115 to 113, 115, 113. The winner of the new European heavyweight champion. Decision. Despondent Derek Chisora finds words of congratulation, but he couldn't have given any more in the end. Well, we knew it was close, and the judges just gave it to this man. Yeah, I mean, you can't really argue uh, that decision. It was a very close fight, very hard fight. I don't think that the, uh, the referee done Chisora any favours whatsoever. Uh, they could fight again quite possibly for the same European title, but I don't think he wants any part of Chisora again. That fight was far too hard. Terrific performance by Derek Chisora, but the home favourite, Robert Hellenius, has the European belt across his shoulder.